What's up, everybody? Happy Tuesday. Got some coffee going on today. Uh, welcome to another episode of Brand Marks the Spot, a show where I talk about all things branding and online entrepreneurship and how to uh, grow your business with uh, branding strategies and design and all those kinds of things to help you uh, just look really good online. So um, welcome. I'm your brand buddy, Patrick Sesco, and I'm getting a late start today. We had the plumber come, and so we had a uh, plumbing issue that we had to have resolved. So I am ready to go now and not quite as uh, um, prepared for this episode as I would like to be, but you know, this is real life. This is live video and I'm drinking my coffee because I didn't get a really great night's sleep last night. So let's get started. So today's episode, we're going to be talking about briefly the pros and cons of templates versus custom design. And this could really be, you know, talking about websites or, you know, your branding in general and any lead magnets or any like printed materials, course materials, all those kinds of things. And, uh, you know, before we get started, uh, the show is brought to you by my 4D brand roadmap. It's basically the four steps, uh, uh, four phases that you really need to take into consideration when you're starting your business when it comes to branding. So you can grab that at, uh, I believe I have this here. Yes, uh, patricksesco.com forward slash brand roadmap. So grab that. It's kind of like an auditing tool. You can see everything that you kind of need to have to launch your business or to grow your business uh, as it relates to branding. So go ahead and grab that. And now let's get on with the show. So uh, we're talking about templates versus custom design. So I'm basically going to go over the pros and cons of each one because uh, there are pros and cons of each one. So Let's start with uh, templates. Um, templates are good because, uh, so the pros of a templates are they're affordable. Um, obviously, when you're starting out, um, it's really good to have a, an affordable option that is not going to break the bank. Um, and it's something to get you started. You don't get stuck, right? Uh, and you don't feel like you have to go and spend those thousands of dollars for a professional brand designer. So templates are good because they're affordable. Um, they're easy to use for the most part. There might be a little bit of a uh, tech um, learning curve, but for the most part, they're easy to use. Uh, it's a DIY situation, right? You don't have to rely on anybody else to do whatever it is that you're going to do. So whether it's like, you know, uh, branding templates or whether it's, you know, uh, booklet templates, workbook templates, those kinds of things. Um, it's all DIY. Either you or if you have a, a VA can do those things yourself. So the turnaround is on you. You're not beholden to somebody else's schedule. Um, they're readily available, like I said. Uh, so you can you can purchase them and use them right away. There's no waiting to get on somebody's schedule. Um, there's none of that. So it's, it's basically what, like I just said, what you have uh, available in terms of your schedule to do. Um, and, uh, that's kind of pretty much the pros. Um, and like I said, they're easily editable and, you know, depending on who, where the template come from, comes from, they, they can look good, but that's also a con because there's a lot of them that don't look good or there are a lot of them that aren't, um, uh, very user friendly. So, um, some of the cons is that they're, they're, they can be cookie cutter, right? Um, you know, they can be cookie cutter and again, depending on who's creating them. Uh, and there's a lot of them out there just as far as I can. A lot of Canva templates are very popular right now. Um, and, you know, others, you might find somebody else, the good ones, the good templates, you're going to find other people using that same template. And if they don't make any like sort of significant changes to the templates, you might see uh, two people in a similar uh, space having a similar look. So the, it's not a custom thing, right? Um um, it may not match your your branding in general. Like, you, yeah, you can put your brand colors and things like that. But, but if you have a particular style of design, that's say maybe a minimalist or maybe it's just kind of grungy and it's got all the rough edges, um, it may not match that. So, you know, again, you can always add your brand colors and fonts. But if it doesn't match, it might be a little bit of a disconnect. But, you know, again, that's not the end of the world. Um, and it could, there could be a learning curve in terms of how to use it, um, depending on where you are in terms of your comfortability from, uh, using of tech, whether that's like, you know, a Canva or whether it's Photoshop or InDesign or any other thing that you would use to design your, uh, stuff. So, you know, templates, 
little personal note on templates for me is I kind of come from a, you know, I was never a fan of templates in any regard. You know, I'm a designer. I worked in agencies and studios and we always prided ourselves on doing custom work. And uh, it was, you know, and templates were always kind of like, oh, it's just templates. And, you know, as I've gotten older and as I've, you know, as templates have gotten a lot better, I actually love templates in a lot of ways because especially for the audience that I'm serving, like, you know, yes, I have my one-on-one -on -one clients who are ready to work one-on-one -on -one with a, with a brand designer and have something custom done uh, and have the budget for it. But there were so many, uh, you know, online entrepreneurs or small businesses who are, you know, just getting started or trying to just getting, you know, getting some traction. They were often, you know, a kind of a, a misbelief is that they would have to spend all this money for a brand look and feel. And, you know, before you used to, because the templates and things like that weren't around. So, uh, it's a good option, you know, because there are different levels of where you are in your business and there's going to be different levels of the type of branding that you're going to have, whether it's custom, whether it's templates, there are ways to make it work for you uh, where you are in your journey. So, um, you know, I've, I've had a kind of a big uh, 180 on templates over the past, you know, five, 10 years because one, they've gotten really good. Uh, and two, um, you know, it's, you got, you got to use what you can use in, in, from where you're at. So, um, there's that. So, um, and so now let's talk about custom design and there'll be some pros and cons of that. So, uh, custom design. So a pro is that it's going to be really strategic, right? So, uh, any good brand designer or just graphic designer in general is going to understand who your audience is, understand your brand personality, what your values are, what your brand voice is and incorporate that into the design. And it's going to be another pro. It's going to be unique to you. No one else is going to have that. Assuming your designer doesn't just copy somebody, which any designer with integrity would not do that. Um, so yeah, it's going to be very uh, strategic and it's going to be unique to you. No one else will have that. So you don't have to worry about, uh, you know, infringing on somebody else's stuff. Um, it's going to be really well thought out. Um, and it, all the stuff matches your brand exactly. So it, like I said, like that, if a template doesn't have the same sort of design visual style uh, as your brand, so you say your brand might be like kind of grungy or something like that, or your personality is just uh, wacky or whatever, it, and it may not match that, right? So there could be a disconnect. But with a custom brand, all of that is going to uh, be in alignment. And that's where the strategy comes in. That's the big uh, you know, pro on that. And then, um, you know, it's done for you. You don't have to do it yourself. So <laughs> the time that you, uh, you save not doing can be spent on other uh, revenue generating activities like, you know, getting clients or doing your social media or what have you. So, again, it comes with a big price tag typically, but uh, it's done for you. You don't have to worry about it. Now, the cons of custom design is that it can be expensive, um, especially when we're working with a good designer. So price is uh, definitely going to be an issue. Um, and, you know, even if you're starting out, let's say you're independently wealthy, right? And you're starting out and you have the budget to spend on it, on a, you know, on a designer, brand designer specifically, I would actually recommend not doing that early on because your brand always evolves, especially from where you're first starting out. So what you're saying, your messaging might change, your, you know, your, your, your ideal audience might change. So definitely if you have the money, put it into it, but I wouldn't go full bear on a full on brand until you kind of get a little bit of traction and evolve it from there because uh, that's how you kind of hone in on your, your brand strategy. So, um, so con again, it's expensive, but it's, it's usually good. Um, it's not easy to really make changes, right? So you're going to have to go back to your designer to say, Hey, make changes. And that's just kind of why I say, Hey, if you can sort of do a mid range kind of a brand as opposed to getting a full blown, you know, brand strategy and brand identity and all those things when you don't have one customer and you're spending 10, 15, $20,000 on all this branding stuff, that is a big waste of money in my opinion, um, until you can sort of validate your business and make money before you start, uh, investing. Yes, it's important to invest. And sometimes you're going to invest early on, but invest in things that are really, truly going to make a big difference in a short amount of time when you're starting. Branding is important. Don't get me wrong. And it's important to have a solid brand strategy to go along with it. But if you just focus on all of your branding stuff before you even have, you know, a product suite or uh, you understand who your ideal customer is, put your money into that and do a, a, a simpler brand to start and then evolve that. 
I'm um, sorry, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but uh, that's I think that's extremely important because I think a lot of people go straight to, hey, I want to start a business, I need a logo. And you know, I'm a designer. I love that because that's business for me, but I don't want the I don't want you to take the wrong step and putting the effort in the wrong place, uh, especially uh, depending on what stage you're at. Um, it can take a long time to complete. So oftentimes when you're doing this, you're looking at, you know, six weeks to 12 weeks cycle, typically, depending on the size of your business uh, and depending on the designer. Um, so just the actual process from start from strategy side to creating everything could take at least six weeks up to 12 or more weeks. Um and then it's sometimes you might have to wait to even get on somebody's schedule. So, uh, you know, designers are in demand, good designers, especially are in demand. So they're often going to be working, you know, their weeks out, sometimes months, depending on you know, who it is and what kind of work they're taking. So that's another con. So you, you, you lack some of the control uh, for the schedule. Uh, next up is you have to rely on them to, to make the edits, right? So, um, you can't just be like, oh, I need to change this color or I want to change this color based on this. You have to rely on them to go make the change and whether or not it's going to be, uh, you know, strategic for your brand and then you're going to have to pay them to make the change. So, you know, it's again, if you if you have the budget, then go for it. But uh, if you're starting out, this is not the way to go, in my opinion. Um, and it's, you know, well, like I said, it's not easy to make edit. So those are the pros and cons of the custom design. So, you know, I come from the school of custom design is king and it is, in my opinion, uh, but templates are uh, such an important part of the brand journey, in my opinion, because it really kind of closes that gap from custom design to like just having nothing and doing whatever you can do in like, you know, a PowerPoint or something like that. And it just doesn't look professional. So these templates kind of close the gap to give you something that looks professional. It may not be 100% strategically aligned, but you can still customize it to where it's got your brand colors and fonts. And it's a really good starting place. And it's something that I've, you know, actually started getting into is creating uh, templates. And, you know, I've got a new template that's going to be coming out. It's a Canva template and it's called the uh, create a lead magnet that doesn't suck Canva template pack. And it's uh, starting out, it's about 30 pages, but it's got like different covers, a table of contents, checklists. Uh, it's got like ebook page layouts. It's got workbook pages, uh, templates. It's got like about me sections. It's got product mockups. Uh, so it's designed for the online entrepreneur who's starting out or, you know, early on in their sort of trajectory. They don't have a fully fledged out brand. And this is something they can apply their colors and fonts to. It's going to come with a video uh, tutorial on how to use it. And you'll have access to a Facebook group. So if you're interested in getting that template, you know, just leave a comment and say, I'm interested. Uh, if you're watching the replay here, just type in hashtag replay and then just say comment, I'm interested. And I can get you some information. I'm currently putting up the web page and the shop right now. Um, but for now, grab that brand roadmap at patricksesco.com forward slash roadmap uh, and leave a comment below if you are interested in getting a notified when the template is available. And um, and yeah, let me know if you have any questions about the template and what it can do. But it's pretty awesome. I'm really excited about it. It's designed by a professional designer, yours truly, uh, who've been in the industry for 25 years. So it's definitely a higher end template. And uh, it's very customizable. So anyways, um, that's it for today. Sorry for being a little bit late, but you know, that's the nature of doing live video. Uh, I would like to figure out a way to maybe just make these pre-recorded, but it's not as fun, I guess, right? Um, anyways, you guys have a good week. Uh, happy Tuesday. Uh, I'm out of the office tomorrow, but I'm back in on Thursday. I'm always on social media. So hit me up if you have any questions and you guys have a great week. Talk to you soon. Bye.